Hello Teach Me, this is Danny Nicholson from the Whiteboard Blog. Um, what I want to speak to you this evening is um, a couple of ideas for alternatives to writing up practical work or writing up science work, but this could apply to other subjects as well. Um, often you'll see this referred to as digital storytelling. And I've got a couple of different examples. One is called Extra Normal, one is called Go Animate, and one is called Toonlet. Toonlet, um, if you've not seen it before, it's a build-your-own-comic website. The idea is that you can set up a comic from a number of panels. Uh, you can choose the character, you can choose the colour of the background, and you can add your own text accordingly. So for this one, I'm going to choose a different character. When I click on the character, you then can choose the mood for that character if they have them. Um, so you might have them happy or sad or angry or whatever. And you can use that to tell a story which in this case could be the results of an experiment that they've carried out for um, science. Uh, once the site's been set up, you then generate your own cartoon, which looks a little bit like this, and um, they could copy and paste that, they could save that, put it into the uh, into the VLE or, um, or wherever, but you can share that with others then once it's in that format. As an alternative, uh, there's a slightly different type of way of doing this. There's a site called Extra Normal. Now, it's a slight problem with Extra Normal at the moment that they've started to go purely on a, a pay model, but you can get a little bit of stuff for free on an educational account. Um, you s click in the boxes and write in your dialogue. So for this one, I've got a dialogue between two people. You could have just one actor. You can choose backgrounds. You can choose how the actors look. When you finish typing in your script, what should happen then will be that the site will generate its own video for you using slightly computerized voices. IHR, you made an amazing discovery. What is it? Well, I was carrying out an experiment to see what happened to the fermentation of yeast at different temperatures. And what did you do? I put a solution of yeast into different test tubes and then added sugar solution to each on. Did you use the same amount each time? Why yes, I used 10 centimeters cubed, so that way it would be a fair test. I then put balloons over the end of each tube to catch the gas. The yeast make carbon dioxide gas as it ferments the sugar. Then what did you do? I put one tube into a beaker of ice, one into warm water, and one in very hot water. The other one I left at room temperature. So what did you find out? The yeast that was warm did better than room temperature. But the yeast that was very hot did nothing at all. I think I may have killed the yeast. The yeast that was in ice did nothing, but once I took it out of the ice it started fermenting again. Wow. That's quite cool. Yes it is. I would like to look at different temperatures next time to see if that changes things. A slightly different website is something called GoAnimate which works in a kind of similar way to Extra Normal in that you can choose from characters, you can choose um, backgrounds and then basically what you do then is you type in your script. So in this example I'm going to choose a wildlife example and click on next. That takes me down to a template between uh, different animals I can get to speak. Um, some are free, some you have to pay for. And then when you've chosen your creatures or chosen your characters then you can type in the things that you want them to say and you can have a one-headed dialogue or a two-headed dialogue and you can basically generate um, again a results from experiment or some things that they found out as part of a research project and just have one animal speaking to the other animal or one person speaking to the other person when you hit preview it'll generate you um, a video which you can then save um, and view online so as an example um, here's something I made earlier did you know that if you burn magnesium in air, and then collect all of the ash, that it actually weighs more than at the start? Really? I'd have thought it would have burnt up and got lighter. Well you see, the magnesium reacts with the oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. I didn't know that. And the extra oxygen makes the compound of magnesium oxide weigh more than the magnesium element. Very clever. You can also do very simple animation using software like Jellycam, which is free. Um, or you might want to pay for something like Zoo3D, 
which is about 30 quid for a license, but there are also things like Monkey Jam as well, which are free bits of software. Uh, use some plasticine, uh, some webcams, and do very simple animations on topics. So you might want to look at maybe make an animation on the food chain, or make an animation about predators and prey, or the carbon cycle, or whatever. Um, so for example, here's one from a, a group of students looking at um, predators and prey. So just very quickly, there are a couple of ideas you could use as an alternative to just going away and writing stuff up that may be a little bit more interesting sometimes. I'll put links up on the blog and I'll post this video online as well so people can watch it again. Um, but thank you very much for listening, enjoy the rest of your teach meets um, and you can always contact me through the blog as well if you want to. Thanks very much.